Welcome to the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2018 here in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio this morning by Nicholas Harry Dowsey, who is the Minister for Information and Communication Technologies for Malawi. Minister, welcome to the studio. Thank you. I'd like to start off by talking a little bit about uh, there's currently considerable attention being placed on harnessing the power of information and communication technologies for good. What's your personal perspective on this? The personal perspective is that, first of all, Malawi as a country, we have made an endeavor to make sure that uh, the issue of ICT development is uh, taken to high height because it's now an economic enabler. It is helping in the field of e-health, E education, e agriculture, and we are also wanting to make sure that in the countryside where most of our people live, they have the basic uh, coverage of internet and broadband. So, as a country and as a people, government has made a concerted effort to make sure that ICT development benefits all the people in the countryside, including those that are in town. Regarding the government institutions, all government institutions now are linked because we have the government-wide area network and we are making endeavors to make sure that there is a development. But with extremely, I would want to point out that ITU has played a pivotal and protracted role in helping Malawi to develop its ICT programs. Now, talking about development, this plenipotentiary conference is the first since the world agreed to the UN Sustainable Development Goals. I wanted to find out what is Malawi doing in terms of ICTs and sustainable development? Indeed, since the United Nations established the Sustainable Development Goals, this is the first plenipotential meeting. And Malawi as a country, what you have done is to, I think, three things. The first one is an issue we have established or we have now a broadband internet network. And, and then we also are uh, laying down national fiber backbone. We are also making sure that we have we, we have access to internet, access to all schools, and that is health. But not only that, we have also a vibrant national network coverage with a coordination of network service providers. So this is, this is becoming an enabler. People are able this time around to find out where to sell their merchandise, where to sell their agricultural products. Malawi is by and large an agro-based economy. And in that context then, ICT and internet provision and the creation and the establishment of broadband and the laying down of national fiber backbone will ease the internet provision of the country. The president of the Republic, Professor uh, Peter Mutarik, has in, encouraged Malawians to make sure that we have taken care of our infrastructures. But at the same time, we would also want to, with the assistance of ITU, we want to establish our search so that we have uh, what we call cyber security program and the Electronic Transaction Act. We have put down also acts that will help in, uh, in making sure that internet provision is not only safe, but also confidential and safety for the populace. Now let's talk about the figures that about half the world's population are connected to the internet and half isn't. I wanted to find out, uh, we talked, drew a little bit, a, a few points there, but I wanted to find out what is Malawi doing to get everyone connected? Malawi, what Malawi is doing to get everyone connected is that we, have, we are now erecting towers and with the new Communication Act of 2016, which allows both network providers to use one port. If one has a, uh, erected a tower, that tower can be used by all internet provision. That is uh, Airtel or TNM or any other internet provision. And we are, with the establishment of Universal Service Fund, we want to make sure that non-reachable areas people are able to assess internet provision and network coverage. But also there are certain areas where uh, the, the things the people have no bank account. We, using the money transaction, we are able to reach out to all people to enjoy the ICT services or internet services or to enjoy connectivity. So both money, money transaction to those and, and banked people 
also helps to make sure that we have developed. And as a country and as a people, I think we still have more to go, but we have done and laid the groundwork for our people to assess network connectivity, banking activities, e-services, health, education, agriculture, economy, and infrastructure development. Now, in a nutshell, what's been your message here to the participants at this plenipotentiary conference? The message from Malawi is simple. Let us, as a, as a world, because it's a, global, it's, a, it's a global world, let us all coordinate and cooperate. Let's make sure that ICT, pro, ICT programs are encouraged within the ITU the master's, master plan. Let's encourage those that have been elected, congratulations for the Secretary General and the entire management. And we think that Malawi is going to benefit from the new executive. They have already done a good work to, from Malawi. We, Malawi, as a, as a member state, is proud to be part of ITU, and we believe that the, the Secretary and his team will continue helping Malawi as a developing country and as a developing economy. And we sincerely thank them for their contribution. We're looking forward to more contribution from both ITU and Malawi as a country. Nicholas Harry Dowsey, Minister for ICT for Malawi, thank you very much indeed. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you.